it's what they call um, separation in church. You know, I play the keyboard and I was lucky enough to be able to do percussions on my keyboard. I can actually hold a service without you having a bass guitarist, a lead guitarist, or even a drummer. Mm. Because I put my mm. rows A, B. So I was lucky to be one of the blessed souls in this life that use this talent to serve God. That from our church, they dragged me where we were. Um, oh God, I must not forget now. Um, so many churches, um, as Poverty, Victorious Army, I don't play for all those churches, you know, because you can actually cut costs in any church you are just to use uh, Brother Gabriel. Because and uh, then we use PSR and we, we always go for the highest. I know, PSR, I know, I know PSR. PSR, 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 PSR 2000, that's time, sequence, 2000, sense, yeah. that time. You can sequence, you can even yeah. use microphone and do um, harmonies. I was killing that shit then. Harmonizer, everything. Yes, boss, I was doing that thing then. You know, wow. that church could actually use just me alone, which was actually paying off for me. I was I could use wear earrings to the church and they don't have a choice. Though I was working for God. No, they don't allowed. like it like that. They, yeah, it is your talent allowed. they are seeing. <laughs> yeah, I was allowed to do some things. Even if the pastors in church were quarreling, that why would they allow? So they were all quarreling because of me. You know, but sometimes I knew I might not be right. And sometimes I fall into it. I go down on my knees because I can never touch the keyboard without connecting to God. It will not connect to the people. That's another side of me. You know, but... This started like play, like play. I couldn't notice it more at the sequence. So, so I started sequencing for gospel artists. And I started knowing about sections, half section, full section in studios. So you can use from 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock for full section, half section to 12 or whatever, 1 o'clock. I see how much they are collecting. Then to have a studio, you're a big man. It's not about all these mobile studios we used to have nowadays. You're a big man to have a studio. So then we used to go and book studios. But me, the reason why people use me a lot is because I will take you to my church. You will sing your song, sing it over again. I would sequence your beats and perfect on your a, beats on, on that piece. On, 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 on a disc. On a yes, disc. Yes, on a disc. <laughs> so me, the only strategy for this, for mainland, in case you yourself, no. I go carry four artists, go for one section, go record them. The engineers, they don't like me at all. <laughs> you, because you've done all the job before you come, yeah, you come into the studio. Yeah, but Riazza, they, plus Riazza, the artists will rehearse well. So when they are going to the studio, we will hire well. They know they are going to kill it. Mm. You know, so it was always working mm. for me. I, I really made it that time. It wasn't like it was hard for me. You know, that was... And you were, the, do, and you were doing what you love. Yes, boss, I was going well. I was going from different churches. I play in Olumba, Olumba. I don't play Celestia, Kerubu. <laughs> I know different kind of music, you know? Hmm. Hmm. You see all those places you were going to, Pentecostal, Molumba, Kerubu. He is God now. He was trying to keep you busy for yes. the apportioned time when he will need you. Yeah. And when that time came, you transformed from not just a producer, but a producer that can sing. Then I a swear. producer that you I see, you see I how God. Go, I didn't know I was going to sing, boss. I swear. <laughs> I, I know that. That's I, I, because I when I you started, sing. the first time I came across your music, I knew you were a producer. Yeah, I, I always wanted to be a backup artist. Of course, I backed up for my boss um, Faze alone for three years, and I would never forget that experience. You know, that's wow, the same phase. Part. Yeah, face alone, Plantation Boys. I was lucky yeah. enough to still meet him, you know, because <laughs> Plantation Boys is the open eye of this game, whether you like it or not, you know. So I was lucky enough, though it was um, Two Face I wanted to meet, because Two Face is my brother. Uh, we are from the same state. Um, mm. We speak the same language, so you can imagine how much desire I love you have. Yeah. But the first person I met was Face, and Face showed me the love to face, the kind of love Two Face would show me. You know, it was quite fun working with a man, a humble man like that. I never see any star at this time of this game where go allow two dancers, two girls, two boys, twins, that's for me. I'll be back up. He get PA plus him in his room to sleep. He sleep mm. with them. No staff he do. You know? Mm. It was very accommodating. I learned how to be a man from him. That's why I can take so many things to and I, I can actually give chance to my children because I can never be there for life. I will always be there because I have given birth to children. 
you know it's about mm. generation by generation music self get generation but some people don't know so like mm. stingy, stingy with your music it will go with your time you know so i've learned a lot from the men then we don't learn to so get experience so boss that's what i still do now when you were on the stage i mean when your time when it was your you know season when i was that cleaning. ginger when you were killing it that ginger it started with that um is it testing microphone now no um it was me and az Okay, well, the ginger started with. Uh, well, I remember uh, I love this. I want to, I, I want to t take it from there now. Now you are a producer. Now you are a singer. Now everybody recognizes there's one badass guy in town, Terry G. He go produce in two minutes for you because you know all the tricks. Yes, you sir. understand? And for you to mention PSR 2000. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because Thanks, the moment you can, you, you know, you have PSR. One, um, one, six, five, one, five, five, sixty. You, know? yeah. you see that two thousand are the baddest. I swear, boss. everything you now can hold concerts like with that two thousand. Now iPhone with that too. Now I iPhone, <laughs> iPhone Pro Max. I like gadgets. No, it makes sense that time. <laughs> yeah, and it's still work. It's still working till now. You know, so now, boss, you just because... you just reassign the tone to the fresher tones. That's all. You're right. You're right. Okay, now from that time, from that your first song that gave you the break, let's start from there. How did that happen? Were you the one that produced the song or was somebody else? And yeah. how was the reception within the industry at that time? Well, um, let's start from the Love You Sexy because uh, I would yes. not leave that part of my career. No, definitely. Uh, yeah, Love You Sexy was produced by me. I can remember it was my first project and I've always been a star. Even, I, even if I wasn't on TV, I always knew I was... There's something special. I knew I was going to be heard the world i should i never start because he had the boy one of the messengers in this world laid his hands on me and said i was going to talk to multitudes in the world and they would listen to me and i think i've not talked mm. i've not spoken to the world they've not heard me so i've not done whatever i came here to do that's why i could be lucky to escape many many things in my life and be given another chance it's not by my power mm. you know so that whenever i'm in the spirit and i get into that realm i actually forget what is happening on earth you know no we are we are in the same zone <laughs> i'm with you <laughs> so daddy um to be sincere um i don't know where this music is taking me but i know where the words in my mouth is taking me i'm not just a musician i'm a motivational speaker and i'm just using the music to gain an edge you know, uh, I believe I will change things with just the words that I speak. It's just coming through music for now. Hmm. Okay. Now, you know, we, were, we wanted to talk about um, that you. region. I don't want us to go there again because now I'm feeling, I want to be asking the question okay. based on the vibe I am getting from you. Okay. I will just be picking some moment. Okay, boss. Test the microphone now. Terry G testing microphone now. You actually oh. told the story of waiting that song B. And wait, and that thing has happened to a lot of musicians. But it was not you, Terry G. That session was for somebody else. In fact, you were writing the song for somebody else. But let me break it down for you. Holy Spirit entered your head that are you crazy? This is the moment. You sing the song. Take the chance. In fact, before you talk, I will give you an example. But I won't mention the artist's name. The artist wrote, wrote one of the biggest songs in Nigeria. If I mention the name, everybody will know the story. I know, I know his name. Before he, he, wrote, he, my wrote the, he wrote the biggest song in the game. He now carried the song out of hunger, out of, say, maybe it's not yet my time to blow. He gave the song to another artist. The second artist he gave it for dropped Very the song. Please. As I'm talking to you, is the biggest song where that artist get to God. today. Anytime where he sing up, I've seen him perform it in London, twenty thousand capacity. I've seen him perform everywhere in the world. But at that time, the person that wrote the song, he could not write any other song. It was the thing. Eh? It was as if, in fact, by the time we finished that meeting, he agreed, and I took him to a producer and I sat down with him. And he, re he, wrote, he started his life, music hmm. career, all okay. over again. As I speak to you, he's one of the biggest Nigerian musicians till today. So, 
Teddy G, test the microphone now. Tell us the story. Well, <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm trying to get you to the spirit so that you know okay. you won't be distracted because you be ginger yes, man. Said, I like the spirit. <laughs> you said almost everything to be sincere. But um let me just say it because it has to come from the horse's mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I produced the beat already. The beat wasn't meant for me. The beat was meant for the artist, which they were outside my house. There was there's they a were they were no, they were they were waiting. It's a particular place where we chill and drink. Yeah, they were on they were on the Hennessy. Yeah, I'm this kind of producer. I'm very fast, and whenever you come on that microphone, trust me. The reason why you want to come back to my studio is because you think that you're an angel. Emiti, man, man, because I produce in different keys. I let you sing on mm. your convenience key, you know. So me now. I let you go outside. Whenever I'm, do- I'm doing my magic, it's my in everybody's recipe. Please, everybody has his own secrets. Uh, you can't, so, you can't share, you can't uh, share. Uh, it. I beg you, keep it close. Uh, 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 so now this is how I do it. If you man like King Fi Kori Bogwe presets King Fi all the tunes. See, so when you are voicing, Timbako, you so keko bongwe. Oh my, I'm with the spirit. Yeah, I actually use my voice texture to get the presets, and I don't let anybody in the studio. As an engineer, so I, when I get the key, get everything. When you just come, so now that was how I did the freestyle. And there's a particular friend of mine, Nigi, was when he came. He was giving me the NSC. Came. It was all fun that day. It was that's how it always is, like every day, walking. So he came, put me, and I and I had to give me. Let me say how they do my freestyle. Everything I sang in that song was actually how it was. And like play, like play, Moko Shiro nonsense. Then I move party. Like I still recorded. Freestyle. You just yeah, freestyle. but like freestyle, move party. Then I still did the same, the real song for the artists. Then it blew. If you name that song, Musa, ever the song blew. But the problem was immaturity as a dead. The DJ, DJ Mickey B, may so rest in perfect peace. DJ Mickey B, Congo leak that my nonsense. And then. <laughs> Stop that. Only spirit is invoke inside that DJ to Don't leak, leak that, that song because it was time for him to take you to another realm in your career. And that was one realm. That was one realm that you know I was very scared to bring out. You know, I'm still I'm I'm using they call me say I they use ginger. Now my personal ginger they use, and if they if the world give me chance, they will see the, the confidence in me. But I had to step it down a little because the understanding never did, the connection never did. They thought I was going mad. So I had to calm down. Mm. You know, so at least, you know, all the elites were actually seeing me in a different way. And um unluckily for me, I had a lot of controversies which had to do with song. But because of my looks, it gave me bad image. You know, telegative music, telegative music, only only joko. You know, I was actually the first that got um, bruised for singing a song that you produced, you sang the chorus, you had a verse in it, and still people are throwing you stone that you should not perform the song. It, it, an artist is coming on stage begging the people that Nahim get the song. Which kind of stupid orientation is that? But now you see, mm. I fought and got nailed for such reasons that people are enjoying now. Do you know what collaboration cost me then? When I know say I don't mm. blow before, now I can't collaborate with me still, I won't dent my image. You know, mm. but uh, by God's grace, I'm giving another chance, second chance to do it the right way. You know, I had showed so much love without the management policy. I was just a musician without business orientation, even if I had it. Mm. I've, never signed, I've never signed any artist because I don't want to sign any artist. I believe I can impact in you and you go. You can only come back and mm. tell me thank you. I don't need your money. I don't need to tie you down. So you not go to Babalawa and go and use my name to spoil my own. I get many things to achieve in life. It's sure for me that... You don't understand? So hmm. that's the reason why I've never signed any artist and I pray I will not sign any artist. I will bless many, many children. They will grow up and I will not, even if I don't bear children. Many, many, there are many children out there. Can't you take advantage of that? Must you go and fuck, sorry, must you go and knock woman before you think you have a child? No, what about, what if that child doesn't do what a child is supposed to do? Hmm. You don't understand? So, daddy, when I'm in the spirit, I tell you I always go out. <laughs> No, I'm with you.